Holding perfectly steady now. Got a 6 inch by 2 inch N50 Gauss neodymium iron boron. The coil around the dielectric inertial plane. And as you can see, I've got light polarity on the hull back array, which sits on the top. I've got a cone coil inside. From cone coil to dielectric inertial plane to LED. Shit, shit. Excuse me. There we go. As you can see here. Got it. Looks like I could tape the cone coil down, but if I don't get it just right, then it wants to go out. So I place it down here. I bring it up. No. Up. Oh, uh -oh, okay. There. Uh, uh. Come on. Come on. Come on. My fingers off of everything. Anyway, I've got a haulback array on top with uh, two millimeter cube neodymiums on the inside. 3 quarter inch uh, N52 Gauss ring magnet with the 2 millimeter cubes making the tiny haulback cone coil inside 6 inch neodymium gigantic 25 pound well I don't think it's that heavy 20 pound uh, neodymium iron boron N50 Gauss Let's see if I bring it too close and then it goes out Higher. No. Higher. Not too close. No. Anyway, there's no power. No power being fed. As you can see, there's no... If I raise... There we go. See, I can get this much above and stay okay, but if I get down too, too close... Above, okay. No. Okay. No. As you can see on the top of the magnet, the hallback array is in repulsion to the uh, large neodymium iron boron, so there's nothing on top of the magnet. Powering an LED with nothing other than a copper coil, a gigantic, dangerous neodymium iron boron, and a tiny hullback array. Why don't you go find another video on YouTube like this? <laughs>
There we go. Very crude, obviously. Just wanted to test something. Come on, higher. There. <laughs> well, go find another video on the internet like this one, huh? <laughs> Set it down. Nothing. Of course, if I let go, then the whole thing will flip over and the whole backer rail will break on top. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Ta-da! <laughs> Why would anybody be so interested in an LED being lit? Because there's no power input! <laughs> That's not exactly the case. It's a field compression from a hallback array. From the returning centripetal, what I've done is I'm trying to turn a, a tornado upside down of the returning uh, centripetal uh, vortex on the reciprocating magnetism. No. Come on. Come on. Ta da! Oh shit, come on. Well, folks, thanks for watching. Actually, this magnet is uh, kind of starting to hurt my eyes now because I've been experimenting over top of it uh, too much. So, that's about all I can take. At least you've seen it. Power generation from no power input. Field geometry. Everything in the universe is field geometry. Hallback Array! If you don't know what a Hallback Array is, investigate it. Too close. Too close. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Higher, higher, higher! Um. Lower, lower. Here we go. Thanks for watching!